This is uh, the newest addition to our analytical facility, which we are doing X-ray imaging in 2D and 3D. So we do um, visualization of the inside of objects non-destructively uh, for the last two and a half years as a service to academics and companies in the region. And since this is now the latest addition, the highest resolution X-ray microscope in Africa, we are very excited to be launching this instrument. Um, the technology works with X-rays and um, by, look, by sending a beam of X-rays through a sample, you can um, see small variations in materials like seeing cracks in metals, um, defects and um, different types of structures in biological samples, also in electronics to see when connections are good or not. The CT scanner has particular application in the world of economic geology and to start off with on, this, on the smaller scale we're looking at some uh, gemstones and we can actually determine the internal structure of gemstones, defects and so on and we can actually define that. On a different scale we can also identify ore minerals, their density, their character, their size, the grade, so there's a broad application in the general world of the economic geologist. We are studying ancient Egyptian animal mummies, specifically found in the South African museums in Cape Town. We have used the CT scanning technologies to actually look inside these animal mummies to see which type of animal are in these mummies, what is their state of preservation, how were they killed, or what other interesting things can we actually see within these mummies. This is an extremely um, powerful technology, so we do not need to open these specimens and destroy them in the process. Um, it's completely non-destructive. Within food science research, we mainly use um, X-ray techniques to evaluate and analyze whole cereal grains and especially maize kernels. The useful thing of using X-ray is in the first place that we can get 3D volume, so we can look at the kernel as a whole and this technique then allows us to see what happens inside the kernel that's not possible with any other technique. Our university, the Lulio University of Technology, has been using the CT scanner for more than 30 years. And, uh, we have, but we have been using the medical scanners that you can find in a hospital. The thing with the medical scanner is that the resolution is quite poor. Uh, so that's why we're using these new scanners here in Stellenbosch because the resolution is much, much better. I'm a paleontologist. Uh, I study humans and other forms of animals that are fossilized. Nano CT will be quite useful for this because some of the objects that we're interested in examining are quite small. And the, the new facility uh, in the Nano CT, especially here at Stellenbosch, will be extremely useful because it represents a technology that previously uh, hasn't existed in, in South Africa, or Africa for that matter. So we're quite excited in the paleontology world to begin working with this device. 